Sorry, I was a little late. I was knocking off a few items off my honey-do list, and being that it's really hot here in Georgia, I had to stop, take a water break. And then I had a beer, and then my daughter made some guacamole, and it's all gone downhill. I meant to start this morning. It is now late in the afternoon, but you know, I'm here. All right, we're moving on to, let me see. Exercise four, table of ellipsis. Once more, when you look at it, it looks fairly simple, but as I have demonstrated before, it is not as easy as it looks. Uh, we will go through the table and see how I do. Um, hopefully, my shoulder will be up to par since I just finished you know, mowing the lawn and weed eating, weed whacking all around the yard. It's a little tired, so you might see a couple wobbly ones or maybe some damn bad ones, but hey, we do what we do and we go with the flow. Hello, my name is Rick Bonilla. Thank you for spending a little time with me. Let's go ahead and jump in on the next exercise. I do believe it's for table of ellipses. So the first thing you're gonna notice is that we need to draw a table. I went ahead and drew a table, actually two tables since the homework calls for two pages. And I am using what here in the States we call letter size paper. The rest of the civilized world uses A4, I do believe it is. So let me go ahead and show you the measurements that I used for my table. If you want to use them, fine. If you can come up with your own, that is fine too. Once I finished the table, I went ahead and proceeded to get started. One thing I noticed right after that is I am now using my shoulder to draw lines. Just to, I was pleasantly surprised to see that it wasn't that difficult for me to use my shoulder while drawing these ellipses. One thing though, my shoulder, a little tired. So as you can see right off the bat, I start missing my mark. According to what I read on the lesson, that is to be expected since I'm used to it. So I foresee me doing a lot more ellipses in my spare time alongside the lines just to get better at it. I was supposed to ghost on some of them, but I kept forgetting. Some of them I did ghost, some of them I didn't. Honestly, I don't know what happened here. Okay, I was keeping in mind the things not to do, which is uneven, bumpy, open shapes, wobbly, and with lack of confidence. I definitely have confidence, I think. Okay, maybe not, but I try to go with the flow. I, I was aiming to draw through each lift two to three times before lifting my pen. That way I could draw them quicker with greater confidence, trying to make them more even shaped. And supposedly it's supposed to give me more practice to build muscle memory. I was aiming to tighten up my ellipses as much as I could. Obviously by what you can see right now, it's gonna take a lot of practice. I finished page one, quickly moved on to page two.
we're nearing the end of the video, so if you like what you saw, hit that like button. Also hit the subscribe button. I try to keep more videos coming down the pipeline for you. Once more, my name is Rick Bonilla. Thank you for spending a little time with me and have a great day.